To complete just a filter change, these are the two tools you will need. Both were supplied with the system. If you do not have them, you can order them from us. First thing you need to do is shut off the water supply. Find the orange tube going back to the wall and turn this valve. The second water supply is your tank isolation valve. Yours may be located on the side of the tank. All we do is turn it this way so it's perpendicular and it is off. Once the water supply is shut off and the tank isolation valve is shut, open your faucet to relieve the pressure in the system and you'll see that no water should be coming out just to drip. To start the filter change, we have removed our system from under the counter. The tubes are long enough that we were able to place it on the counter. If yours is not long enough, you may have to do it on the floor or disconnect extra tubes. The first filter we're going to change is the 5 micron sediment filter on top. To do that, you're going to remove the tool tube using the push fitting tool. Make sure you use the flat side, not the groove side. You're going to take that orange collet, squeeze it and press it flat and pull the tube out. So we're going to disconnect the green tube doing the same thing as the orange. We're going to squeeze that collet down. I'm holding it there and pull out. To install it, you're just going to take the green tube, push it so it clicks all the way in, clip it back in, and when you're ready, we're going to push in the orange tube. That filter's changed. The second filter we're going to change is the Aquamedics. On yours, if you have an older system, it could say coconut carbon filter. You're going to take the wrench, find the way it says open, slide it straight up, and pull towards that arrow to loosen the housing. We're going to just spin it to get the housing off. It'll be full of water. We're going to just pull that filter out, dump the water, take our new filter, which is going to look blue like this. Make sure both gaskets are on either end. Set it back in the housing. Screwing it back on. Tell hand tight, taking the wrench, and just give it a little snug. All right, the next filter we're going to change is the first deionization purifier. You have two of those in the system. We're going to do the same thing and loosen that housing and spin it off, taking the old filter out, dumping the water. Sometimes you will see that this black gasket is not there. If so, reach up into the lid. It'll be stuck to the lid inside. Your new deionization purifier will be white. The white gasket goes up to the top. There's none on the bottom. We are just dropping it in and resecuring it to the filter system in the same way we did the first housing hand tight, little snug. You will repeat that exact same process with this one and your second deionization purifier. Once the system filters are changed, you're going to be ready to do the post cartridges. Uh, in most setups, you're going to have our white remineralizing cartridge hanging from a purple tube connected to the red tubes and the restructure cartridge with a white tube that goes back to the system. At this point, since the system's been off and the water's been emptied, you're gonna have water in these cartridges and it's gonna get a little wet. But uh, what you wanna do at this point is just disconnect the red tube and the white tube here and replace it, this cartridge by just plugging them back in here. And you're gonna repeat that with the remineralizing cartridge by disconnecting up top and the bottom and replacing with the new one. 
Okay, once uh, you've got your filters changed, we want to check the air in your tank. So the first thing you got to do is empty the tank completely of water by opening the uh, spigot. Um, our 14 gallon tank will have an air pressure valve on the side under this blue cap, the nine gallon under the blue cap on the bottom, and the four gallon tank under the black cap directly under the valve that allows water in and out of the tank. You're gonna take your uh, air meter gauge. You're gonna hold it for about three seconds and it'll turn on. You wanna make sure that it says PSI next to the number. Then you're just gonna press it until you get your reading. In this case, it's 6.9. So we need to add air to this valve just like a bike or a car, until it reads eight. If you need to let air out, you just push that valve. Once you are done putting all the filters in, it's time to go ahead and put your system back under the counter or wherever it was located. First thing you wanna do is plug in any tubes you may have disconnected, then turn on your incoming water supply to allow water back to the system. As soon as you start to see a slow trickle from your faucet again, close the faucet and then turn on the tank isolation valve that was shut off at the beginning of this process. At this point, your system has four new filters and is ready to reuse following the first flush of a full tank. Fill your tank completely empty it and then you should be good to go.